Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, can now let's turn these away. Yeah, that should be great. All right, so let me set you guys up for what we're doing today. So we're doing bilateral accessory, actually. And our right accessory nipple removal and bilateral nipple reduction. All right, so I wanna show you guys here. Um, so he has enlarged nipples and I'm not gonna pinch him yet because he's not numb. We're gonna basically take a half moon off of each side and then fold the top down like a cap to give him a smaller nipple. The other thing that you see here is this is called an accessory nipple. When you're embryologically developing inside the womb, there's something called the milk line which extends from the armpit all the way down to the groin. Anywhere along that milk line, you can form an accessory nipple or even an extra breast. He happens to have one right here. This is actually a nipple, so all we're gonna do is resect it. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get him numb. Let's see, um, do you have your local? Yeah. And then do we have a small, what kind of needle do we have? It's a 27. Okay, perfect. So once we get him numb, um, this will not be bad. Little poke here, bud. So he's under sedation. This can be done in the office under local. Um, but once you get them numb, it's really not bad. And the nice thing about doing this under sedation is that he's got propofol on board enough that he barely, he probably doesn't even feel this. Um, so I'm just infiltrating underneath and then I'm gonna actually go into the nipple itself and we're gonna load that up with some local anesthetic. People talk about not using epinephrine in certain areas. Um, I've not had a problem with that. So we are gonna use some epinephrine here and it's perfectly fine to do that. So you can see it turning white from injecting it. Um, the epinephrine will help with bleeding as well. All right. So I'm just infiltrating at the base of the nipple. <laughs> how I slept last night. Yeah, let's just put a little cover, a nipple cover on it. Um, yeah, probably. I'm thinking, I mean, really, honestly, all they need is a Band-Aid. <laughs> a little bit of ointment and a Band-Aid. Do some and yeah. Okay. So we're gonna let that epinephrine kick in for a minute. So let me mark um, first this excision. So all I'm gonna do for this excision here is take out an ellipse. We're just gonna get right around the nipple because that's all that really bothers him is this little thing. And then we're gonna put a couple little stitches into it. So I'm just raising a wheel all the way around this thing. You can see it getting white. <laughs> it's crazy how it bleeds from one poke, right?
Okay, so here we go. Let me see a marking pen. So again, there's two ways that you can do this. Pickups. Yeah, Adsense with teeth. Yep, perfect. <laughs> there's two ways to do this. You can either take scissors and just cut this off and sew it back together, or you can do this technique where you split it in half, which is what I like, um, because basically you keep half of it and you get rid of half of it and you fold the top down like a little cap to close it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if that still looks too big, I can trim more off of that as well. And then essentially, we're gonna basically take a little ellipse around the base as well. So we're gonna take this off this way, this way. Okay. And I'm pinching and he's not moving, so he's numb. So you can see, we're gonna take that piece off there and then this actually just falls into place. So now he's got a much, much reduced nipple. We'll keep these and I'll video at the end. Here's that. All right, I'll take the Chromic. So now we're gonna take an absorbable suture and close it and then he's just got a little bump. Look at the difference. Yeah. So not, not done and done, huge difference. And look guys, we're all, we're all vain. I mean, this, this showed through his, um, you can see it through his clothing and that bothered him and I, I get it. I mean, women are the same way. Women um, don't like having big long nipples. Ooh, I can't see, where'd it go? There it is. All right, so there's that one. That should be done. No, that's okay. Little tails are fine. Chromic is a pretty sticky stitch though, so you don't need it, but. Um, all right, so let's take out this little accessory nipple. All right, I'll take a knife. So you can see the white, that's the epinephrine causing vasoconstriction of the blood vessels. We can use lidocaine with epinephrine or without epinephrine. With epinephrine lasts longer, and the epinephrine is what constricts the vessels so that we have less bleeding. All right, so all we're gonna do here is just take a little ellipse around this area, this nipple, all the way into the dermis. So this is full thickness into the dermis. So there's an accessory nipple.
So I could use a permanent or a non-permanent suture here since I've opened a non-permanent, which is something good to use in the nipple. We're just gonna use it here too. Chromix can cause some irritation of the skin because it's a, it's a gut suture. So they can get a real red reactive reaction to them. If that's the case, we just take them out. But basically, this is like a liposuction port site, essentially. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna, again, we're gonna cut this in half. Number two. Yeah, so let's keep these separated right and left for me. Where's the other one? I'm gonna wanna video these afterwards. So let's see, is this gonna be about the same as the other side? I'm gonna need to take a little bit more off right here. Okay, so voila, we're gonna clean them up so you can get a nice clean view of everything that we just did. Accessory nipples gone, much flatter, much nicer with the, um, the nipple on the areola here. Oh, look at that creativity. I wanna get all this chlorhexidine off of him because it's sticky. So you guys got to um, basically experience what we call TIVA, total IV anesthesia, with propofol. He was sedated the whole time, snoring, enjoying life, getting some rest. Do we have any other towel or anything we can? This one's okay, here's a sharp right here. And let's see, do we have a sharp here and here? Sharp sharp i just want to get a quick video with a clean okay i'm gonna get my iphone for this but um if you look now guys those are much flatter much nicer and more aesthetic for him this will be a tiny little scar that will heal beautifully but very nice let me grab my